Hey everyone, Merrick here, and this is Spellweaver. Spellweaver is a free-to-play card collecting game or card trading game or trading card game, depending on how you want to handle it. They currently refer to it as a TCG or trading card game, and it's currently in closed beta. Now I got in because of one of our awesome fans, Donald, sent me a key. And when I contacted the developer and said, hey, I'm going to start making a video series on your game, is that cool? Not only were they cool with it, they upgraded the key Donald gave me to a silver key so I could show you guys some more features. Now a silver key gives me an extra deck so I can play with two different decks which allows me to show off two styles and it gives me um, gold and booster packs daily which I get to open with you guys and show off. Now enough of that rambling, let's get started. Let's see how far we can get in the single player if we can. Um, I'm not sure we can. We'll see. So, uncommon daily quest. Play one game. Reward two common cards. Yeah, we'll accept that. Okay, so we could do dailies, which is kind of cool, and I love the art so far in this game. I've only played the tutorial. In fact, I'm probably going to play the tutorial again with you guys right now and see if I can't get my head around how this is played. It's kind of a mix of... Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering and a couple of other games and the way that it feels but it has a whole new rule set and I'm not really familiar with the way the cards play yet. Uh, I'm not an expert at, at these kinds of games so let me see if we can't get in there and do something with it. Um, well I want all right, so I found a bug. I can no longer go into my settings menu. I can get to it there though, that's fine. Let's replay the tutorial. This will be quick, so there'll probably be two matches in here. Uh, for now, I'll probably wind up playing one or two matches depending on how quickly they go to make short videos of this. This video's got a little bit more rambling in it, so it'll be a little bit longer than normal. Greetings, young Spellweaver. Well, we're having a little problem with, uh, well, you know, goblins. Give us a hand. I ad-libbed. Okay, so, in this game, instead of lands for mana or crystals, you have levels and mana. Now, your units require you to be a certain level to summon them. And they also require mana. We start off with one mana, but we're shy a level. So by clicking on this card, I can choose to either select plus one man mana or plus one card, or I'm sorry, plus one mana and plus one card or plus one level. We only have one choice right now because it's um, the tutorial and it's showing us that's how we get a level. Now that we've played our, our quote unquote land for all the magic people, and I'll probably compare it mostly to that, we can go ahead and summon our Lost Legion Spearman. Oh, and we have a timer. I didn't notice that. All right, so he's got summoning sickness, so that's all we can do this turn. You can only play one uh, order shrine per turn. Okay, so we need more mana, so let's get mana and a card, and we can summon him, so we will, and we can attack with him. Now his speed is three, which is fantastic. You can only attack a creature that has the same or lower speed as you. You can't attack faster creatures. So if this guy was a 1 speed, these little markers here, these um, chevrons here, tell you what your speed is. If he was a 1 speed, we wouldn't be able to attack him because he's 2 speed. For now, we can't attack him, so we'll, we'll go smack him in the face. There we go. Now they killed each other. If he had survived, which I'm not really pleased with that exchange, if he had survived, um, let's say he had two hearts or two health, he would have actually had, or he would have gotten his health back. Unlike, ooh, that's kind of cool. I need a second level to play him, so we will um, go with order level and bring him in. Little Jon Snow looking dude. Um, now he can't hit him, but we can attack the player's character, so let's go ahead and do that and attack. 
There we go. Take it in the face, sir. All right, so he's exhausted. He can't block, but our little Jon Snow can block, I believe. Now, I'm not sure if the speed requirements... Oh, we can take a fireball to the face. I'm not sure if speed requirements can prevent you from blocking. We'll have to experiment with that. But we'll, we'll block, and you'll see that he gets his health back in the next turn, which is nice. So we're going to go for mana and a card. And we're going to bring the knight out. Now the knight does some stuff. At the end of your com uh, at the end of combat, your uh, I'm sorry. At the end of combat on your turn, ready knight escort. I'm not sure what that does. It's saying to do something in here. Play this shrine for mana. Okay, when I try to click on it, it doesn't let me... ...do anything. Like, it won't let me play this card. So I'm not sure what it wants from me. It did this last time when I brought out that unit. So I'm going to skip that and instead we're just going to attack. And I'm going to swing straight at him and then block his goblin when he attacks the goblin with our ready knight. Okay, hold on. What did that say? It's off screen. I think it said it allows to block... Okay, display... No. All right, indicates rarity. That's fine. I want to know what that effect does, but it doesn't tell me. It's it goes off screen. Um, so yeah, developers, if you watch this, flip the position of the hint. That would be great. So it doesn't go off screen, because you know I can't tell what he's saying. All right, we are running on our turn timer. It looks like each person has a turn timer individually. Let's go ahead and block that. So, yeah, I'm running out of time, whereas he's not. Because I keep talking. Okay, let's see. Hunting Gigaton. Rage has no form, but the Gigaton is close, though. Okay. That's kind of cool. So he's a 5-4. Probably won't play with him just yet. Oh, wait. Here we go. So we're actually going to sacrifice this guy to kill him, and then we're going to hit him for eight, or for six, and that'll pretty much do this. There we go. So we played our little spell card, got a nice little boost, and this, this round is over. So I think I understand the basics of it. I just kind of got to get into the groove and make my mistakes and then move on from there. Oh, this is interesting. Destroy a non-order creature with attack three or more. Whoop up. That's you, buddy. All right, and then we click this button and we go all into his face and eat it. Yes. I win the tutorial and it makes me feel all powerful. Fantastic. Okay, so let's do, um, oh, the all-time leaderboard. Let's see if we can't get our name on there one day. Probably not. I'm really not good at these. Okay, all accounts will be fully reset before open beta starts. However, you'll receive a normal pack. Hey, there we go. See, I'm a silver account. Thank you, developers, and thank you, Donald, for being awesome. Okay, so you can challenge players, which is awesome. So if you guys manage to get into closed beta or pick up this game at any time when I'm playing this, I will let you guys know when I'm looking to challenge fans. So I'll post a message to Twitter and to the YouTube comment section. If you guys are looking to play during that time or any time that you see me on, throw me a challenge and if I'm recording videos, I'll throw that video up of you kicking my ass or maybe me getting lucky and beating you really not that good at these games so yeah send me your name on here I'm Merrick on here and we can have some fun with that that being said let's do a quick battle and here we go we're gonna do a friendly game ah hell 
So it'll cost me 20 gold if I lose. Why not? Can't find a game in beta? In your time zone, most players are active. But I like that. I like that they tell you what your time zone's effect of it is. That's kind of cool. So we're going to sit here and wait for a few minutes. If this takes too long, I'll cut the video and pick it back up um, after I find a game. So I love trading card games. Like I said in the past, I'm, or in the earlier part of the video, I'm not very good at them. For some reason, I just kind of just knee-jerk react to this stuff. So, ooh. There we go. We got a person, I think. So I need a raid shrine. Um, you know what? We're going to keep this and see what's going on. I think that might not be a player. I'm playing against the computer. Okay, so we'll throw this out. Rage level 1. And summon that. Okay, and there, there may be a train coming, but I can't really cut the video, so I apologize. We'll just have to deal with that. Oh! Oh, good. So we get to summon two of those, huh? Well, we're gonna pull some mana. And... Disciple of Zash deals one damage to creature or hero. Yeah, we'll summon you. Oh, I can't summon you. Ah, because you're level 2. Well, shit. Um... Eat it! I didn't want to waste it on one of those uh, first level guys. And then we will... Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to wind up taking some, some damage, but it'll be alright. Because so far he can only do two damage to us, and we can take two damage. So good. Can't forget to end my turn. Okay, does she like clone? What the hell's going on there? Uh, that's fine. Okay, can I can I see that now? I can't see that. Fantastic. So we are going to up our rage level. Bring our friend out. And we're going to have to to kill one of these guys. Shit. That makes me unhappy, but I'm not really sure what's going on with her skill. So we'll deal with that later. Um what is this? Rally the peasants. Summon a militia creature on the battlefield. Cool down two turns. So we're going to take a lot more damage than I'm really comfortable with. But that's okay. I don't want to resign. Why would I resign? I'm just getting started! Ooh. What's up that guy? And I can't attack, but I can do whatever that was. I don't know what I just did. Oh, it's, I'm just moving him from support to there. I don't really want to do that. Oh my. Uh, we will we will block him. And sometimes you're using a brute. So that's 2-3. Two, that's 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, we are, we are not going to win this battle. I definitely do not know what I'm doing. But we killed one. Hooray. One is dead. Okay. Let's see, I want to bring in some more mana. And... I don't want to use all of my mana up. Oh, I guess I do. My bad. Did not mean to do that. Okay, uh... Shit. Okay, so we're gonna kill that. No, we're gonna hit hit the player because I can block and kill one of his attacking creatures. I can block and kill all of his attacking creatures pretty much that are on the board right now. Oh, he is just straight just rushing that guy down. Um, deals one damage to creature hero, so I can't really do anything. Alright. That kind of sucks. Bye, friend. Thank you for clearing most of the field for me. What do you do? 
Valiant, Sires of Heaven, Flying, Vigilant, shit. That sucks. Okay, so we don't have any level 3 stuff, so we're going to do mana and card. And what do we want to do? Hmm. So we can bring that guy out. And we can kill a creature. Okay, that works. Um, wouldn't mind a little more feedback from that, but that's okay. And he can't really attack the flying dude. So I guess we'll we'll attack the the person and let him decide to block. Uh shit. Well, that would have been good to know fucking beforehand. I'm so bad at this. Oh no! Ball bag. Block attacks. Okay. I don't want to sacrifice that creature. Take it on the face. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely going to lose the first couple of rounds while I figure out what the hell I'm doing. Um, We'll do that. Man and a card. Always mana and a card. Okay, so I've got a, I've got six mana. Uh, three damage to creature or hero. Let's kill that. Okay, so that's gone. Fantastic. Let's bring another one of these guys out. And... We're going to end our turn. No attack. Oh, what is... Where the fuck are you getting all these? Uh... Um... That's not an artifact. Yeah, let's, let's do it that way. Because he's not going to kill it, but we'll be able to... Wait, do you have an artifact on you? You do! No, it's a blessing. It's a spell, not an artifact. So I don't know if that if that counts. Uh, let's go man and a card. Let's see, I could do three damage to that, and then I can kill it. So we're gonna do that. Three damage to that. Then we're going to kill it. Yes! That's progress. Okay. Um. That's fine. So there, we'll take that out and it's mutually assured destruction from this point on, it looks like. Mmm. Man and card it is. Ooh. Attack attached to creature, bless creature has plus two attack. Oh well that's useless for right now. Um let's have you kill that. And that's it. Okay, enemy creatures can't attack. At the start of your turn, sacrifice angelic song. Okay, so I can't attack for right now. That's okay though, we'll save the fireball. Um, bring on that guy. Reno Goblin, Seal of the Seven Goblin Warrior Creature. Oh, nice! So we're going to attach it to nobody right now. Yeah. That's good enough for right now. We're still getting our ass kicked, but I think it's going to be okay. Mana and card, please. So we've got two of those. Hmm. So this will allow me to kill that guy. 
And then these two can kill that. And then can I summon that? No. And then you can go after there. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, he switched it on me. Smart move. Smart move. Well, shit. Okay, so I think this might be game over for me. Oh, yeah, this, this is it. Well, this was fun, though. Yeah, we're done. I am going to enjoy playing this. This is going to be a fun little, fun little game for me. Okay, let's see. Ooh, so I need to be level 3. It's declared. Which I can maybe pay 2 mana if you do summon Goblin Warrior. Ooh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna increase our rage level. We're gonna put him on the battlefield. He has haste, which is nice. It's declared. Whenever you're fighting or attacking, you may pay 2 mana if you do summon Goblin Warrior creature on your front line, exhausted and attacking the same target. Yes, please. So let's, let's buff him up nicely. And then... You're going to kill him. And you're going to kill that. And you're going to do the same. And then... I want you killing that. And I want you killing that. So, yes. Yay. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. I can barely stand myself. All right. We have won because of reasons. Magical draws. All right. So we're going to kill that. We're going to... Do that and we'll hit you with everything else that we have just, just everybody hit hooray um yes I would like to do that thank you bonk bonk and he did something oh I don't know what happened I think I won I won I didn't get a victory screen I couldn't see what happened but there we go! Get reward! Sweet! I got an elf scout. And I got a mesmerizing spirit. When mesmerizing spirit enters the battlefield, the enemy hero discards a card. Oh, I like that. So there we go, guys. Our first victory. And I think that's the single player campaign. Kind of mixed in with the multiplayer campaign. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Man, I'm really enjoying this game already, and I certainly enjoyed making it for you. If you did enjoy it, click the like button, let me know. If you have the game, throw your name in the comment section below, or if you, you know, want to be added to the list of what name you're going to pick, put that in the comment section below, or anything else you want to say, that'd be great. Love to hear from you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button, and YouTube will let you know when I get this out. All that being said, I'll see you guys next time.